Music instrumentalists need objects. And as percussionists, we need a lot of them. Middle schools, high schools, colleges, universities, drum corps, community bands, professional ensembles, each with their own respective inventories. Yet these are only a few of the national organizations that sustain our international market for percussion instruments. When the presence and consumption of an object is required for one's extension of musical self, how far is too far to be separated from the makers who produced that object? And when certain percussion instruments require the consumption of internationally acquired and increasingly rare natural resources, often having alternative applications for indigenous populations, how far is too far to be separated from the materials that comprise these objects? With funding from Michigan State University, I set out on June 24, 2013 to make a marimba in Michigan and with Michigan resources. Can it be done sustainably? Can it be done locally? Can it be done affordably? And of course, can it provide a suitable and functional alternative to the instruments in the marimba market today? Since I had never made a marimba, I knew I was going to need some help. Luckily, my colleague, mentor, and friend, Matt Kazmierski of Plymouth, Michigan, offered to help see the project through. Not only is Matt an outstanding musician and music educator throughout Southeast Michigan, but he is also a highly skilled carpenter, luthier, and craftsman of marimbas. Having made more than 20 custom marimbas since 1999, Matt's innovations to the field are numerous. Some of these innovations include all wooden resonators modeled after wooden church organ pipes. All wooden no rattle frames with beautiful shaker furniture designs. Wooden posts positioned underneath bars rather than in between, reducing instrument size by over a foot. Fully graduated bars produced under highly particular bar selection and tuning processes. And extended range, which is best exemplified by Matt's concert bass marimba reaching the depth of A0. Matt Kazmierski and his personal company Planet Marimba is a local and small business option in the marimba market today. Unique through his dedication to self-sufficiency, innovation, and artistry, Matt is simultaneously sensitive to the ideas, desires, and budget of each customer. With Matt's help and the gracious hospitality of his wife Penny and their three children, I knew the project was in great hands. Having arrived at their home in Plymouth, we got right to work. When getting into this project, Matt and I knew that one of the most important decisions we would have to make would be the selection of wood for the marimba bars. In today's market for marimbas, rosewood is the preferred wood for bars. However, product can oftentimes be used as an alternative. The issues surrounding these two woods are that first of all, in many places around the world, rosewood is on the verge of extinction. In other places around the world, such as Brazil, rosewood is actually illegal to chop down. Secondly. In order to incorporate rosewood or paduck on any American marimba, the woods must be acquired internationally, which globalizes the production chain and greatly enlarges the carbon footprint of the production process. Therefore, with this study, Matt and I hope to address the following question. Is there an alternative to rosewood and paduck that can be sustainably consumed and locally obtained in order to foster a reconnection to natural resources in the environment? Since arriving in Plymouth this morning, I've been working to produce nine sample bars, each made from a different wood, to help us decide which domestic and hopefully Michigan alternative will best substitute rosewood and paduck marimba bars. Of the nine, three are international. 
The first two, Rosewood and Paduck, are used to compare the sound production and durability of the domestic alternatives. The third international wood is South American mahogany. Our six domestic options include walnut, ash, cedar, redwood, sassafras, and red oak. Of the six, we determined that sassafras is the loudest, most resonant, and most durable of the domestic specimens. After settling on sassafras for our marimba bars, we just needed to find a lumber yard to buy a supply of it. All right, we're here at the Reuse Center in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and we're really excited about this because not only does this Reuse Center have a lumber yard with local wood, but pretty much all of that wood was only harvested until the wood fell down due to natural causes. So we're about to head in right now and see if they have a few pieces of sassafras for our sustainable marimba bars. And if we can find that, we should be able to find a few more pieces of wood for the frame. Sassafras <laughs> and elm Great. recovered from Dexter. That's right. Yeah, we just got back from the reuse store in Ann Arbor. We got a bunch of sassafras for bars and elm for the frame. So about to get started cutting them out right now.
Checks out those 